What's up family, welcome back to yet another valuable video. So in this video, I'll be showing you a very good trading method when it comes to taking advantage of gold. And of course, I wanna show you how you can trade this within the New York trading session. I wanna show you as well the power of order flow alongside with the New York session combined on trading gold. I believe that's gonna give you explosive moves on gold. We've been trading this, of course, within the mentorship. I do live um, sessions every morning and we've been calling it out. You guys have been seeing our trade results and you're wondering how I did it. So I'm gonna be showing you that in this video. By the way, we just hit 21,000 subscribers. So I just wanna thank each and every one for really getting us to this point, your support, watching our videos, applying our strategies, sending us results. Thank you so much, family. And of course, I'll be giving uh, 35% off on our advanced trading course for everybody that has always wanted to join us this is going to be what we call an end, uh, end year special right or end year promotion so for everybody that has watched our channel and has always wished to be part of us where we do our live trading sessions within our discord group we send trade setups we hold you in your journey of trading definitely apply the coupon on our website on the advanced trading course and definitely i'll be seeing you on our next live trading session so anyway i'm just gonna jump on the screen right now and definitely i hope this video will give you so much value okay so i think the main thing is to follow what we call the uh, daily order flow so what i mean by that is that when we see the daily order flow, it's the main trend that the market has been holding. So if the market has been imprinting higher highs and higher lows within the daily time frame, right? I'm just gonna make an example. I just wanna draw the sketches for you guys, okay? So that we can lay the foundation quite very well, okay? So when we mean order flow, this is the main trend. And of course, I'm just gonna change the color of what I'm gonna be applying here. With each and every main trend or higher time frame trend, there's intra trends in between, right? Okay, I want you to focus, guys. I'm drawing this as raw as I can, I'm teaching this as raw as I can. So, with every main trend, you need to understand that we have this market movement taking place. Okay, let's see if we can just change the color to a Okay, that is not visible. I'm just gonna choose a very bold color that it can actually show as well. Let's go to the bearish one. So with every bearish market, you have the market as well doing this within um, those selling and buying moments. Okay? And what you need to understand about price, it's all about time and price. Okay, let me just finish here so that I can get my point across okay i'm just gonna change the color to let's say red okay looking at these two trends the black one here it will be your main order flow okay so the black one there it will be your daily time frame for example in fact that's what we're talking about so the black one let me just write it there that will be your daily time frame trend or bias okay I was, I was hoping I was going to write it as best as I can. But yeah, black means uh, daily here. And of course, when it comes to this intraday trends here, that means that you're forever trying to observe what is taking place on the daily to catch a trend, either if it's a pullback or a continuation on your intraday. That means your intraday would be your H1 all the way to your uh, M M15. Okay, so the blue and red will stand for the H1 and the M15. That's what you're gonna be spotting. So definitely what we're saying is that with the main trend, let's say it's been buying on your daily time frame, you can clearly see that the market is giving us higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows, right? So definitely following the main trend, let's say here there's a demand level at this point here. You wanna go all the way, let's say to H1. The market is not just gonna push. Yes, it's, it, 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 it may look like it's pushing on your daily time frame, but you should expect a pullback on the H1 and the pullback, we wanna pull the trigger on gold 
on the New York Open. Okay, so let's say that's that pullback there. That pullback will be retesting uh, probably a demand level that was also created or refined as well within the H1 that is found as well within the daily time frame. I'm not sure if you get me right, but I'll make practical examples. I'm just laying down the foundation. So with this, you want to take the, the trigger here and have a very big take profit. The very same thing applies here. Let's say you got a big supply level over here and the market just sold. Okay. And you go to the H1 and since it's sold like that, you want to wait for a pullback because that's what the market has to do. It has to give us a continuation and a pullback or impulse and a pullback. Or a, of course, in this case, I can just refer to it as a pullback. And when, once it pulls back, you want to now sell in line with the main trend, the order flow. That's what we mean by that, guys. Okay. I just hope you get it. I didn't want to spend a lot of time here. On this order flow right here so let's just move straight to the practical example and these are trades that I took okay these are trades that I took that you guys can also just see we do post our trade results on our Instagram so I'm just gonna go over here to the daily time frame you see exactly what I'm talking about here so as you can see on the daily time frame guys the main order flow was a bearish trend as you can see it's quite visible that we have a bearish trend being the main trend of course we do have um, if we can have long-term investors then that will be the buy in this regard so given that I will be following this main order flows and of course why did I end up selling here I took a trade that is one is to seven I just want to show you exactly that that trade and then we can get to the teaching as you can see we caught this trade right here i want to put the evidence right on the screen okay just want to show you this trade was so amazing guys we took a trade that is one is to seven even right now we're on a trade that is one is to five here we took a trade that is one is to seven we got a good sniper entry but this sniper entry i didn't just go to the um, smaller time frame to get it right with uh, whenever the new york open comes in I go ahead and just check what is the main order flow okay so for example if I go back to the daily we can clearly see that within this uh, main trend there was a supply here that the market had created okay so this supply that the market had created the market tapping into that I wanted to see that I can get a trade since the market tapped into the supply therefore okay I'm just gonna get rid of that therefore tapping into that supply let me just make sure I can just mark it there. Okay, tapping into that supply now, I just wanted to see what structure did. And as soon as it tapped into, into it, within the intraday time frames, is that we're having a validation of structure. You can have it as many times, or you wanna verify it in any way that, that you wanna do it. I just use smart money. You can use it anyhow. A strategy is basically an edge from it whichever individual right so if we're gonna make an example about soccer players all of them want to score but there's different ways that they score and we are actually used to that it's their method and strategy so i'm presenting you to you a method that i use to personally take advantage of gold so of course given that uh right here we had a change of character okay i just want to save time uh, break of structure so the market was validating that it's reacting to this uh, bigger time frame supply given that I had the market of course it's gonna pull back so it's the very same thing that I was showing you family it's the very same thing so this is the bigger trend and the market is doing something like this and it taps into it breaks the structure of the the say the smaller time frame which is the H1 and does something like this and my job is just to wait for the market to pull back and drop and that's exactly what i did over here so the market of course tapped into a supply okay tapped into a supply i'll just show you right now so tapped into this supply over here dropped i didn't catch that that, um, that first drop what happened it pulled back and i was able to now get the second drop let me just get rid of this stuff and just show you here so once the market did that, I went to the M15 over here, okay? Just went to the M15 
and as you can see we we did have that supply there or that order block that the market created when it first touched this place and as you can see the market just sold all the way so given that this was actually retesting this supply over here because we are trading with the uh, with the order flow the market just tapped into that and of course once it tapped into that I was just waiting for a pullback and the market just dropped all the way 1 is to oh 1 is to 10 actually 1 is to 10 so these were big pips so today again I did the very same thing within the live call I was able to predict it we had this unmitigated demand level but the very same way guys the very same way basically again as we go back to our sketch if the market is busy buying and selling okay in this case it was the bigger trend okay what's going to happen with that bigger trend on a smaller time frame this is what it does it pulls back to let's say a demand level that is way huge and the market now sort of like reacts there let's say it taps into it breaks structure there or gives us a change of character i'm waiting for the pullback i pull the trigger during new york and that's exactly what happened here that's exactly what happened with this trend. As you can see, this is a sniper entry. I was able to refine it. I was able to refine it as well to just getting this entry right here, okay? I just hope I kept it quite smooth and straight to the point and you did enjoy this video. Hopefully you can sort of apply this uh, concept that I just taught you. If you wanna go deeper into understanding exactly which time to enter this trade and which entry uh, setups to use or to look for when you want to enter at that time and uh, which price uh, which type of price action you want to use definitely you want to be part of us within our advanced trading course use the 35 percent coupon that i'm providing on your screen right now go check out on our advanced trading course on our website so definitely i will see you there i'm ready to welcome every one of you in our advanced trading course god bless you